talking about we, we talked about who's the most important player for the Sixers, but who needs to be the unsung hero for the Sixers in this series? I know there was games where Melton stepped up uh, in that first round. Um, our guy Paul Reese stepped up and showed that he could play with Harden in that um, in that backup uh, uh, NBA role. Uh, but who who needs to be the unsung hero in this series for the Sixers to win? Um, I think it's easy to say PJ, um, but I'm gonna say Niang. Um, <clears throat> he's a guy that, you know, with their ability to go big and small, um, I think he'll be, he can be utilized. And I think if he's knocking down shots, um, because we, we can break down their defense and we can, I think that they'll depend on one-on-one -on -one a little more. Um, so the more we can break down and he can hit shots, I think it will s stretch their defense because they are more inclined to shrink and help and, over rotating, over doubling and rotating. So the more that we can put a dent into that defense and have more guys knock down shots, and you know, I would just kind of lean towards him as a sort of the unsung hero that we kind of need. Bang bang. Yeah, Niang's either had a really good game or just a really really bad game. Like he's almost and when he's bad, he's like unplayable. Um, like in the Brooklyn series, he had. Two games where he shot. No, oh, he shot pretty well the other game. He didn't shoot any threes, though. Um, and the other game, he didn't shoot at all. It was 13 minutes and no shots. Weird. Um, I'm going to choose. Yeah, there's a few in this one. I wanted to go McDaniel just because I think he'll be able to put in some good minutes. He's a good guy that will be able to guard, who will give some good minutes to uh, Tatum and Brown. Um, one of the few bigger, lengthier, and fast guys we have. Um, because you can't Tucker can't be. I mean, he's gonna have to play many minutes on those guys, but he's gonna be exhausted. And you still and Tucker and still needs to have energy to be able to chase those rebounds down. So um, I'm gonna go uh Paul Reed just because of Embiid's injury and saving minutes here and there. And in case Embiid does have to miss a game, you know, um we had the does it does it you, so I wanted to ask this earlier. Do you think it also helps that we played one of the games in Brooklyn without Embiid? The last game, like not only for their confidence to say, let's say MB can't play game one. Well, we're like, well, you know what? We just closed a, a team out in game four to win without MB. So I think it helps that they've done that and they've done it during the season. It helps from going in and saying that we won without them, but it's still brand new. You know, yeah, it's a series, new team, tough place to play. It's still brand new. You know, it's, it's it helps that we 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 have that inner confidence that we we can do it and have done it without them but it's still fresh yeah yeah no for sure i gotta say in paul reed's confidence if you're gonna do like a a, a graph throughout the season it's probably the highest it's been in his career right now so i love that he's feeling good we're gonna need him to feel good we need him to, even he comes in for eight to eight to 14 minutes a game just like you know hitting hard at playing playing great defense hitting good putbacks i mean um i think paul reed's gonna have to be really big in those uh minutes when they spell um mb yeah